What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today are some Tucson's and all of these happen to be from the same designer, Wong Din Jin. So we're going to jump into this really quick and we're going to blow through them pretty quickly. Um, for those that have been following along uh, the last couple of weeks, you will know that I just got back from a work trip uh, just a couple of days ago and all four of these knives uh, were in the mail and I they're, so they're all new acquisitions for me this one here is a little bit of an older model uh, from Tucson however uh, these other three are pretty new so uh, yeah let's just get right into it and so we're just gonna go in order uh, for those that don't know or are not familiar with uh, Tucson's numbering system um, the higher the number, uh, the more recent the model. So here we've got this right here is the Tucson TS-89. Like I said, this is a Wong design. So Wong does some amazing designs. I actually have a video that I put up a while back that is nothing but Wong design uh, Tucson knives. I really like Wong designs. Uh, the full-size ones are really fantastic, always really really nice ergos just amazing knives <clears throat> and he's done some really really great stuff um, I don't have all the the other models uh, here with me I've loaned a bunch out to some other other YouTube channels but uh, yeah so real quick um, we'll do a few size comparisons uh, with with all of these uh, so this is like I said the TS 89 this is the TS-159. Here is the TS-82, or I'm sorry, 182. And then the little guy, this is the TS-199. And you can see right there, Wong Design. So real quick, just to uh, go over the uh, materials. So on this one here, you're rocking M390 blade steel. It is a titanium. Uh, frame lock pretty straightforward pretty standard hardware and this one happens to be a front flipper or thumb stud deployment and it is a snappy little guy for sure so we're going to uh, talk about that one uh, the TS-182 this is a full carbon fiber uh, knife it is a uh, liner lock this is a titanium liner which we'll get into that you do have a titanium backspacer and milled pocket clip this one here has 14 c 28 n blade steel they also made this exact same knife in m390 uh, but i i have the one in 14 c 28 n the ts 159 this one here is in s 90 v it's a full titanium uh, frame lock all of these, all four of these knives are riding on ceramic bearings and they have ceramic detent balls and all of them have uh, hardened steel inserts on the lock bars, even this liner lock, which we're going to get into that. Uh, you can see here you've got this lanyard space in the back that's integrated into the back spacer. It's nicely done, very similar to the 182 and the 199. On the TS-89, you do have a lanyard space back here, which is nicely done. I, you know, from the from the side, it doesn't mess with the the aesthetics of the knife at all. Again, titanium frame lock. This one is also S90V. Now, this TS89 here, uh, this knife they make it in a whole bunch of different options. You can get it with G10 liner lock with uh, 14C28N. You can get it with G10 and D2. You can, there's all sorts of different configurations. Um, the Thai version, they may have done with Sandvik steel. I can't remember off the top of my head, but, but many versions of this knife. Um, this one you can get in multiple different steels as well. Um, I think they offer it with 14C uh, or S90V. This one I think only comes in M390, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong on that, but I think I've only seen the 199 with M390. And then, like I said, the 182, um, it certainly, they do have it in M390, uh, but it also uh, comes like this model here with the uh, 14C28N. 
So um, all of these knives, there will be links up in the description uh, for every one of these. So if you want to pick one of these guys up, um, I can tell you that just about every Tucson video that I put out there, and if I have links to put in the description, uh, they sell out immediately. Um, and I'm not trying to say it's not whatever. <laughs> I'm not trying to act like my channel's selling knives out all over, but if there's something on here and you see this uh, soon, I would, if, if you are interested, I would jump on it pretty quick because every time I put links up in the description, within a few hours, I have people messaging me saying they're sold out, they're sold out. So, so just keep that in mind. If, if there's one of these you are interested in, I would jump on it right away if it's available. So as soon as this video goes up, there these are definitely available, uh, but I, I don't know for how long. So anyway, with that all being said, we'll uh, let's just do a couple of size comparisons just so you guys can get a good understanding of how big these knives are. So we're going to line them up here at the end. And let's see here. throw him up here just because it's really small and you're gonna see that all right so here is actually I'm gonna put this one up here here's the Spyderco Manix 2 so you can see these are at least the the three are large knives and then here it is with the uh, Benchmade bug out so get a good size representation of those knives. Let's see if I can get this. All right. So I feel like that should be, you know, Bug Out and Manix 2 are, are models that most people know. And then we'll move these off to the side and I'll throw this one up there with the Bug Out. You can see they're much, much smaller than the Bug Out. Okay. So that's a pretty good uh, size representation there. Um, I will pull out this knife because I did a video with this knife just the other day and it is a giant knife, no doubt about it. Uh, this is the uh, Benchmade Auto Bedlam and cool knife. But if you like that kind of Persian upswept style blade, <clears throat> the TS-159, you will see right here that this has the upswept blade, very similar in blade length there you go so you can see they're very very similar in blade length and profile the bedlam's a little more uh, upswept but the handle here on the TS 159 is considerably smaller than the bedlam handle so for whatever that's worth there you go all right so we're gonna go down some uh, some measurements here really quick and I'll just run through the specs on these. Uh, get them set up here. Okay. All right. So the TS-89. What you're looking at here is an overall length of 8.946 uh, inches. You've got a handle length of 5.074. A blade length of 3.872. You have a uh, handle thickness is 580 thousandths, so just under six tenths of an inch. Uh, blade stock thickness on this guy here is 150 thousandths. And behind the edge, this is a flat ground S90V blade. You do have this fuller that comes out about halfway. Uh, behind the edge thickness is uh, 17 thousandths on this example. You do have a sharpening choil back here. They did miss uh, the plunge, so that's fantastic. A lot of companies seem to screw up sharpening choils but Tucson did a great job here. And um, weight on, eh, I'll, I'll weigh them all at the same time, but uh, this here you can see titanium frame lock flipper. Uh, flipper tab is fairly uh, unobtrusive. It does sit up, you can see there, you know, the way that this is kind of milled around the the radius there is kind of interesting, but it, it leaves a nice little spot for that flipper tab to stick out. And because there's a bit of an arc here across the spine of the knife, um, yeah, pretty small, unobtrusive flipper tab for how big this knife really is. Uh, pretty slim 
in carry just to compare that to the Manix 2 you can see that although we've got a lot more blade uh, the uh, silhouette or profile of the knife is is very slim um, in the pocket so yeah great knife the TS 89 certainly a big full-size knife um, and this particular model right here, um, it, the S90V, uh, what I could find online, uh, looks like it sells for around 125 bucks with the S90V. Uh, however, uh, I am going to put a link up in the description for the budget version of this, uh, just because I couldn't find this this tie and S90V version. But if you if you like this knife, which Ergos are spectacular. You got some nice jimping up here on the, the spine, and it's well done jimping. It's it's not aggressive. Uh, it's you know you only ever feel it when you need it, uh, which is nice. I like jimping that's done that way. Uh, but the budget version is G10 liner lock uh, with either 14C or D2, and it's forty five dollars. So there will be a link in the description for that. So check that out if you're interested. All right, the TS-159, you, what you're looking at here is an overall length of 8.885 inches. You've got a handle length of 4.985, so just under 5 inches. And then you've got a blade length of 3.9. <clears throat> you've got a handle thickness here of 520 thousandths and a blade stock thickness of 150 thousandths. Now, again, we've got a flat grind here, and you've got this swedge that runs the entire length of the blade. Uh, really nice, attractive uh, blade. Beautiful satin finish on there. Uh, behind the edge thickness on this guy is 15 thousandths. So, really nice slicer blade there. And for, you know, theoretically a 4-inch long blade, it's 3.9 inches. Really nicely done. Again, the carry profile on this is really really beautiful you can see here that the lock bar relief cut is internal that's something that i absolutely love you can see on the 89 that it's external uh, the internal relief cut just helps for uh, getting it in and out of the pocket you don't have that notch right there to deal with so you can see you've got plenty of space underneath the pocket clip it's got really nice retention just yeah really nice clean design Ergos are absolutely fantastic. Love the thumb ramp on this guy. The jimping on it is even more um, uh, modest than the uh, 89. So you can see there the difference in the cuts. And so rubbing your finger over it, it's just, it's like nothing. But when you do push down on it, you get some meaningful traction. Again, did a really nice job on the sharpening choil. It's out far enough to, to get past the plunge grind. So, yeah, really beautiful, beautiful knife. And, of course, things like blade centering and all that stuff, the, they're all perfect. Um, that's not something that Tucson struggles with at all. Uh, real quick, uh, balance point on this 89 is right there. So about where you'd want it, maybe a little further back. Uh, 159, right there. Again, right in that, in the wheelhouse. <clears throat> All right, TS-182. Overall length is 8.47 inches. You've got a handle length of 4.91 and a blade length of 3.56. Got a handle stock thickness of 650 thousandths. And you've got a blade stock thickness uh, of 140 thousandths. Now this one here is a full flat grind. You can see just the tiniest bit of flat right there at the very top. There you go. Uh, again, really nice satin finish on the blade. Uh, sharpening choil. There is a bit of a, uh, you know, pocket pecker sticking out there but it's not terrible um, you can see that the way the pocket clips canted it allows you to slide your hand past pretty decent uh, but not not terrible ergos true to form 
with Wong. I mean, just beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, really, really great knife. Now, this one, you can see that the secondary bevel on this knife is tiny. And I love to see that. So, just to compare here, you can see the width on those secondary bevels. So, the one, the one uh, I'm sorry, the TS-89, this was... Uh, 17 thousandths behind the edge. This right here is 10 thousandths behind the edge. So the 182, when people talk about a knife being a lightsaber or being super slicey, that sort of stuff, this is super slicey. When, when a knife's only 10 thousandths behind the edge, it's done well. So that's fantastic. This thing's going to be a joy to cut with and, and use. So super pumped on that. There will be a link in the description for this knife. This is the one that I think will probably be gone really quick. Um, the link in the description, you can pick this knife up for $86. Full carbon fiber, 14C28 end blade steel. Tucson does a great job with that steel. Uh, the thing is going to outperform most M390s. Uh, it's full stainless steel, great steel, uh, super pumped on it. And we're gonna get into the construction on it because it's impressive. All right, so the TS-199, uh, dimensionally, overall length is 5.55 inches. You've got a handle length of three and a quarter. You've got a blade length of 2.3 inches. Handle thickness is 0.48. Blade stock thickness, so on the flats here, is 130 thousandths. Uh, you do have a flat grind with some with another swedge up here at the top and then uh, it's a really cool looking little knife honestly um, but uh, blade stock thickness is 130 thousandths so just barely over an eighth of an inch and behind the edge on this guy is uh, 14 thousandths so really nicely done and <clears throat> there will also be a link in the description for this knife right here so you're looking at full titanium frame lock, ceramic bearings, ceramic detent, over travel stop, milled pocket clip, lanyard hole included in, into the backspacer, integrated into the backspacer. You do have the thumb stud, which the thumb studs are titanium and pretty cool looking. Um, it gives a nice place for your thumb up on top of the knife. So for me, this is like a two and a half or you can choke up, but I, I actually don't like choking up on this knife. Um, but definitely, definitely a cool little knife, premium materials, and you can see, look at the chamfering around the, the lanyard hole there. I mean, Tucson just, they're just knocking it out of the park. They really are. Jimping is beautiful. Front flipping, even for my big ass hands. Listen to this thing. Man, it just, it just rockets out. It just, the detent is just perfectly tuned, and when it breaks loose, it just, yeah, amazing. So the link for the description, Thai M390. Like I said, full premium materials here. Uh, and you're looking at $128. So that's a gorgeous little knife. I mean, you look at any other little knife. Um, you know, I don't even, what's that? The ZT0223 or whatever that little one they have. Um, you know, it's, I don't know what it is. But either way, this is uh, what we're looking at here. Let's get some weights on these. All right. So the TS-199, it is, what is it, 2.3 inches of blade. We got 2.62 ounces. So really nice little knife. Um, let's go, we're going to do the uh, 159. So this was 3.9 inches of blade. Wow, look at that, right, right at four ounces, that's gorgeous. This this is a beautiful knife. Four ounces, uh, you know, just barely off of a four inch blade. And it's it's just beautiful. Love the thumb ramp, it just is so comfortable in hand. And this is contoured as well, all of these are. Um, so TS-89, now this one does not have a bunch of internal milling. Actually, it has zero internal milling, if you can see in there. Uh, so this one's definitely heavier. 
at five point basically five point two ounces, and then the TS one eighty two. This is a three a little over three and a half inch blade, all carbon fiber. Yeah, so it's under the ounce and inch. All right, <clears throat> so there you go for the weights. Now on the construction, all two sons are all the screws are T eight. Uh, with the exception of lock bar inserts, those are always T6. Everything else will be T8. Um, and I'm just going to pull these apart really quick. Never Loctited. This is simple two-screw construction. Whew, that one's tight. There we go. Don't worry, that wasn't my driver stripping that out. The screw just popped a little bit, making noise. So you can see that the pocket clip is recessed into that space. And let's pull this off here. Oh, beautiful. That, I love to see that. So there's your internal milling. Really nice. There's your lock bar insert over travel stop and ceramic detent bowl. But... Something that I haven't seen a lot on two sons is a D-shaped pivot, but there you go. This one has a D-shaped pivot. Uh, it's never been an issue on the two sons, never had a problem. There you can see the internal milling and, of course, the ceramic uh, bearings and the washers, which have a grooved track in them, a milled track, and they're actually surface ground washers. It's just beautiful construction. And there's your ceramic bearings and you have a detent ball ramp. Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And man, compared to other manufacturers out there, it's amazing the quality that you get out of Tucson uh, for the price, it's just, it's stellar. So you guys really should uh, should be checking out Tucson Knives if you haven't. Uh, the, the quality and the price is, yeah, it's just amazing. All right. And then you can see here, get that D shape lined up, but this will go back together beautifully. And it'll be perfectly centered unless I screwed something up. But they are, and their designs and their their uh, manufacturing techniques are getting better with time which is pretty amazing uh, perfectly centered yeah zero blade play i probably got the pivot a little too tight but yeah it's a little tight but anyway you get it um i'm going to show off the construction on this 182 uh real quick because it's impressive so the uh, carbon fiber on this knife is absolutely gorgeous. Hardware, really nicely done. Like I said, all T8 construction with the exception of the lock bar inserts. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Tucson knife that didn't have all T8 construction. So here we go. So you can see here you've got uh, an internal blade stop on the actual blade itself right there and then you've got the thumb studs which serve as a secondary stop they actually hit the touch the carbon fiber right up here and that gives you know some extra lateral support which is is fine um but this is a titanium lock bar with a hardened steel insert and a ceramic detent ball it's just gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous they even chamfered the hole on the lock bar. Look at that. So that hole is part of the aesthetics of the knife. You got that hole right there. And you can see my finger through there. And so they had to cre create that hole in the uh, lock bar as well. So it passes all the way through. And then, like I said, they, they even chamfered the hole. That's beautiful. You've got some jimping there on the lock bar. Man, the construction is stellar. And look at the carbon, guys. I mean, it's just, it's perfect. It really, truly is. 
no voids in any of the carbon fiber and it just dances in the light and it's absolutely gorgeous the blade perfect just absolutely gorgeous you've got a detent ramp they even polished the blade up there on the the uh, detent track so it's really really stellar <clears throat> titanium backspacer with the integrated lanyard hole there's your hole on the other side and then the look at the carbon gorgeous all right well and then uh, of course you've got the the washers that ride in there as well uh, this knife here also has a d-shaped pivot so yeah you've got a d-shape right there on the lock side on the carbon on the pivot so just yeah super well done down there oh all right let's throw these screws back in so anyway guys if you uh if you have never experienced a tucson knife you definitely should um for those that haven't haven't gotten a, a chance to check out a tucson you you need you owe it to yourself to to go and pick one up um, or the other thing is, is that I have a 1K giveaway going on that ends on this coming Sunday. And we're going to be picking the winners for that uh, on Sunday. And it's a secret giveaway. So um, I haven't announced what's actually being given away. Um, however, we will, I will show what was given away after everybody receives their prizes. Um, but there's going to be three winners and you know, I mean you guys all know that I'm a big fan of two sons So there there may be some two sons in there. Who knows? May even be some that you're looking at. I don't know. So um, Yeah, just beautiful man for a for a full uh, full carbon fiber with titanium lock bar titanium or a hardened steel insert titanium backspacer full tie pocket clip uh, this knife would be three or four hundred dollars from any manufacturer. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous, you know. Ceramic bearings, ceramic detent ball, and like I said, guys, there will be a link in the description for this knife for eighty six dollars. So go check it out. Um, now the links uh, help support my channel, and I greatly appreciate that. But just to be fully transparent, there, uh, the links definitely help support my channel. But, guys, for $86, you cannot beat this knife. It is just, it's stellar. It really is. So, anyway, that's what I got for your face balls today. This is the newest additions to the Wong Tucson collection. There you go. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.